The 17th Dubai World Cup staged by far the most exciting event in its history. Saturday's winners capped this year's carnival on a high note and gave new meaning to Arabian Nights. All eyes were on Dubai as the glamorous and adrenaline-filled event kicked off at Maiden. It showcased the finest horses as well as matched the best of techniques and skills, celebrating sportsmanship combined with a passion for horses and racing. Khadija Saleh reports. The five years of waiting has come to an end. The Dubai World Cup has returned to the Godolphin Gallery after a historic win by Dubai trained Monterosso. Under the young French rider Mikael Barcelona, they excelled everyone to win the $10 million contest. Emirati trainer Mahmoud Al Zarouni was beyond himself with joy when he accepted the trophy and shared the stage with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. The crowd cheered the ruler for the victory. Congratulations to all the winners uh, of today. I cannot explain how happy I am. Uh, and uh, like you say, I'm, I'm trying since three years to win this race and I'm finishing third always. So lucky I won, I won it today. This is a fitting ending to the 17th Dubai World Cup as the day began with a lot of dynamism. Annually, it attracts horse owners, trainers, race aficionados and the rest of the world to the Emirate. Well, they are strong horses. But we didn't know because some of them, they come from abroad, whether they will run their performance, we didn't know. They expect, I think, in 65, 70,000 people. That's quite a big number, full of events, full of excitement. And we all winners in this race. Nobody is a loser. In traditional Dubai fashion, the World Cup ceremony didn't disappoint. The darkness that surrounded Maidan was broken with a show that captivated everyone. It highlighted the desert, the Emirati, the horse, the technology available here combined with an amazing display of lights and fireworks, all in anticipation of the final three races. The most important is to make something very impressive uh, and, uh, and to, to have uh, all the effect to touch all this uh, audience because the audience is very large. It's uh, on this uh, 1,000 uh, meters uh, long uh, grandstand. So we, we need to give to everybody the same uh, moment with emotion. It's, it's spectacular. The setting is fitting for the world's richest horse race. And people come out in droves, big crowd tonight, and racing's been spectacular all night. Just the place to be. While all this is happening, high hopes and expectations fill the jockey's room where trainers provided them with more encouragement and tips. Before the races began, everyone knew they stood a chance to win. It's really, it's a hard competition and we have, we are, our horses are very good form. We hopefully get good results. It's the first time I'm actually sitting on this horse today. Um, he's been doing his winning in Qatar and uh, he's been improving all the time and like I say, Julian wouldn't bring a horse here if he didn't think he had a live chance, so we're, we're excited. 27.250 million US dollars is the total price for all the nine races. With so much at stake, there are many rules to be followed and factors to be considered. Among them is the jockey's weight. According to officials, the way in before and after each race is important. If they come lighter than 500 gram, yeah, they will be definitely there will be a steward inquiry and. Uh, could be, I mean, they will lose the race. The Dubai Kahala Classic was the first race of the day and set the tone for the following races. While others proved to be victorious, others who didn't win are satisfied with the opportunity to realize long cherished dreams. Great feeling. I mean, uh, fantastic horse. First time uh, I ride him uh, in the race, I've ridden him uh, a couple of times at home. Uh, straightforward horse, and uh, I was never going to get beat. When you uh, win, race like a Kayla Classic, it means a lot for us. So we hope next year's uh, uh, do something with, for example, Dubai uh, World Cup, the final race. Other winners included trainer Corinne Barand Barb, who became the first female trainer to win a thoroughbred race on the Dubai World Cup night. Jockey James Doyle was also on cloud nine after his Dubai duty-free win. All my dreams have come true and today, you know, unbelievable. 
In addition to the World Cup's race winners, the top performers in this season's carnival were also recognized for their achievements and contributions. The Dubai World Cup is indeed the richest horse race in the world with over 27 million US dollars given away. This night will definitely go down in the history books with many memorable wins and realized dreams for horse lovers and race enthusiasts. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.